Hey guys, it's Ashley. Excuse my messiness. I just got back home from school and uh, I'm not looking my best right now. But it's okay because we're about to be doing a makeup tutorial and we're about to read our face. So hopefully we'll look a little better after that. So yeah, this was a really improper intro, but anyways, it doesn't really matter. So let's just get started. I didn't forget to bring over a primer. Oh well, I guess we're not going with the primer today. And I've already done my eyebrows. So we're just gonna go straight into eyeshadow. So I'm first gonna prime my eyelids with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Also, hopefully you guys like me doing these angles like this up closer for the eyeshadow because I feel like it'll help out more if you guys are wanting to recreate the look. The eyeshadow palette I'll be using is the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Palette. I literally haven't used this in so long. It's been a hot minute, so it's a little, a little dusty. But anyways, I'm going to set my eyelids with this shade called Divinity. I'm then going to go into the shade called Almond Truffle right here, and I'm going to use that as my transition shade. I literally had this palette for so long now, and I still haven't taken off this little like plastic thing on the mirror, so we're just going to take a moment. I'm now going into the shade called Mocha, which is that like medium brown shade. And I'm going to use that as kind of a crease shade. And then I'm going into Malted, which is that kind of dark brown color. It does have some sparkles in it, but once I blend it out, I don't think you'll be able to see it very much. So really from this point, you could just pop on a shimmer shade or leave it at this and it could be a neutral eye, but we're not going to go neutral today. All right, so my lid shade today is going to be the purple shade called Black Current and I'm just going to be putting that all over my lid and I'm going to try not spraying it, but yeah, it works okay without spraying it. it has kind of a lot of fallout as you can see, but... It's okay, I forgot to bring a spray over by me. I'm just gonna wipe off all of the fallout. Lower lash line, I'm going to mix Malted and Mocha, the two kind of crease shades that we used. And to add more life into the look, I'm gonna take Satin Sheets, which is that kind of shimmery shade, and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner in Brow Bone. Okay, this is definitely a pretty dark look, but it's okay. I think once we add kind of lashes and the face stuff, it'll look a bit better. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and do lashes. All right, so I did the lashes and mascara off camera, and I used the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. Now we are going to move on to face. I'm starting out with the Hard Candy Primer Water Stick. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Like, it's okay. It is pretty cooling, but, like, it's not my fave primer now for foundation i'm using the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream this was sent to me through octoly and i've used it a couple times i actually have a funny story on this it wasn't like pumping out and i was like really struggling and i opened it and this I thought the pump broke and I, cause I couldn't get anything out. I took all the foundation out and put it in a bowl. And I did this all on live on my Instagram. Then I looked it up and soon realized that it was actually how it was supposed to be. And I ended up getting it out. But long story short, I do not take all the foundation out of it. And the pump is supposed to be like that. The foundation itself is really full coverage. The shade on me isn't the greatest, but it is a good a good foundation and definitely my most full coverage foundation I own. If you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this is a good one. And I'm not really even going to blend down my neck much because literally right after this, I'm going to a freshman orientation for my high school that I'm going to be going to. And I'm going to have to take it off right before anyways. So I'm now using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Fair Neutral and just put that under my eyes. Also putting it in places where I need extra coverage, so like... And I'm going to set my whole face using the Le Mercier powder. I don't know if I've raved about this enough, but this is my favorite loose powder. It is so good. Honestly, worth the hype. And yes, it's expensive, but if you're looking for a good loose setting powder, 
this is definitely the one to go for. The bronzer I'm going to be using is from the e.l.f. little blush and bronzer duo in the shade St. Lucia, and I'm going to be using this shade because the other one's a blush. The blush is kind of really light, so I don't really use it much, but the bronzer is pretty good. I haven't used it in a while, but... I'm using the Tarte Blush Book, which I love, and I've been using it a lot lately. And I'm going to go in with the most purple toned bronzer, and which I think is this one. It's the shade Authentic, and I'm going to be putting it, you know, on my cheeks, obviously. And I'm using the Aurora Glow Kit again, which I've uh, still been using a lot lately. And I'm going to mix the shade Spectra and Luna, which are the purple and the white shade. The shades in the Aurora Glow Kit are more glittery than like the Sun Dipped, but I do really like them, especially for the more crazy looks. It's a great one to have in your collection. Also, I've seen a lot at like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and stuff, and actually one of my subscribers, she DM'd me and said that she got hers for $12.00 which is insane. So if you guys can find that, I would definitely get it. Plus the shade Luna in here, if you're kind of my skin tone or lighter, is definitely a great highlighting shade just for every day. Lastly is lips. So I'm gonna be using the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit and it's in the shade Rebel Rose, which is kind of a purpley type of color. It's really, really pretty and I haven't used it in a long time. All right, so this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you guys like this look. It's definitely not my favorite look I've created, but I do really like it um, and hope you guys did too. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. So make sure to comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I'll never try, bye, bye, bye.